Hey guys, Young Forty Mom. Um, wanted to do an update on the sales um, that are going on on the Facebook group Cross Stitch It's Fun, um, put together by Charity, also known as Wonderfully Hopeless. Um, there were some that I did not get to put in my last video because I was not sure what I was going to do, but I had to hurry up and pick something because. Um, the next one starts February 1st, which is in the day or two. So, for the Valentine's one, I am going to be doing a short and sweet fingertips towel. And another reason why I'm doing this, too, is because these books will not be in my um, stash videos that I've been making. But the one I'm going to do for Valentine's is this one right here. And it says, Be Mine. It's a fingertip towel doesn't want to focus. Let's see. Let's try this. Anyway, it's really cute. It's got two little bees and little flowers. And I just thought it would be really cute for a fingertip towel. But anyway, I've got my towel ready to go. And the brief on the pattern. There we go. But it's all colored and nice. But anyway, so there. That's my, that's going to be the one I'm going to be starting in the next day or two. Um, another one that I did not get to show was the one for October 2nd, which is the animals, October 17th, which is the Halloween, and I've decided to go ahead and add December's ornament because I found the really cute one and I have to do it. So, and I'm not big on making ornaments, so that's, that's a lot for me. All right, so for the, let me open my book. It's my patriotic one. October. Where's October? There's October. Okay, so for the animal one, I thought it'd be really cute to do this um, for me and Maddie. It's from a Wild and Free book by Stony Creek Collection. Um, this is uber old. <laughs> Let me look. Um, these patterns are hand done. Um, let's see. Oh, did you know that the Critic Manufacturing Company has been around since... Well, nope, that's wrong. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this does not have a date on it. I thought for sure it would. Oh, 1985. I'm sorry. It does have 1985. And just briefly, I'll show you. These are hand written. This is what I was telling you um, in my previous video that people like us who have been stitching more than 25, 30 years, you know that um, they were handmade. They were hand done back in the day. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going to do the koala bears right there. Uh, it's a mama bear, koala bear and a baby koala bear. So that's going to be my animal one that I'm going to do for me and Maddie. Yeah. So I thought that'd be cute. All right. My Halloween one is uh, called Counted Illuminations is the company. Um, the name of it is called The Goblin Market by Patricia Andrew, A-N-D-R-L-E. Um, it says, we must not look at goblin men. We must not buy their fruits. Who knows upon what soil they fed their hungry, thirsty roots. Ooh, that's creepy. Um, and you, I don't know if you can see it or not. Hopefully you'll get to see it when I finish it. But Okay, there's the goblin, of course. In the background, yeah, you can see it. You can see fainted faces. Of other goblins little ghost silhouettes in the background and then in the center there's a spider and then a spider web goes out throughout the whole thing I just thought that would be absolutely perfect for Halloween that would be so cool okay um, that is a printed one let's see what we got here um they recommend doing it on 32 count ivory linen I've never worked on linen so I have time to get that together um, and in the back it talks about the the artist oh okay um, Christina Georgina Rosetti, Rosetti born in Victorian London in 1930 is considered to be Britain's foremost female poet 
Her verses are original, warm, direct, and show the influences of the Bible and folklore. Her, I don't know of any goblins in the Bible. That's funny. Uh, her best known and longest poem, The Goblin Market, is an allegorical fairy tale first published in 1862. It tells the story of two sisters who hear the goblins cry, Come by, our fruits come by. As Lizzie hides her eyes and hurries home, she warns Laura with the lines quoted in the design, We must not look at goblin men, we must not buy their fruits. Who knows upon what soil they fed their hungry, thirsty roots. Hmm. Cool. Alright, well that's it for me. Just wanted to give you an update on my... Oh, uh, oh and then the... Um, I, had, I found a freebie pattern many, many, many years ago. Um... Sandra Parlow, 